freedom, responsibility, openness of government, etc. Let me ask you, what percentage of the atmosphere is CO2? What percentage of the atmosphere is CO2? I don't have that calculation for you, sir. Maybe uh, you could tell us what your personal uh, uh, guess is on what percentage of the I, CO2. I, I don't make those guesses, sir. You're the head of the EPA and you don't know? You've based, you have all of these laws based on all of it. Oh, you're going to get your staffer to tell you now. But you're the head of the EPA and you did not know well, what the what percentage, and, and now you are basing pro policies that impact dramatically on the American people and you didn't even know the bait, what the content of CO2 in the atmosphere was, which is the justification for the very policies you're talking about? No, that, well, that thank you. I, if you, I, if I, you're I, asking me how much CO2 is, is in the atmosphere, not a percentage, but how much, we have just reached no, levels was, of 400 parts per million. I think million. I was very clear what I was asking, and I was very clear you didn't know. Let me ask you if uh, CO2, from what I have understand, uh, is only one-tenth, uh, excuse me, one-half of one-tenth of one percent of the atmosphere. Uh, and you believe that this minimal, tiny element, and by the way, only 10% of that, from what I understand, is actually man-made. And of course, whatever you're suggesting and is being suggested as the basis for uh, 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 creating these, these, what we consider draconian controls, is that one-tenth uh, that is man-made of the one-half of one-tenth of one-half of one percent, that that will have uh, an impact on the weather to the point that it will actually impact people's health. The gentleman's time has expired. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Warbacher.